Hey everybody. Oh, welcome back. Now, it hasn't been long since my last video, literally a few hours. I just wanted to come back very briefly and look a little bit at the routing section in Yukawa. So if you haven't watched my main video on this, you should definitely watch that first. That's the main overview. Here, I just want to explain this routing section in more detail because I think I didn't do it clearly enough in my last video. Didn't understand it that well. I think I've got it better now. It's a bit clearer in my mind. So what I've done here is I've turned all these knobs down. And if you remember from the earlier video, we talked about how the most important thing to understand here is that we can send our inputs through the filters or not through the filters or both. And we can do that in various different ways. We can also do cross feedback thing between the two different delays. Here I want to first look at understanding how the sequence delay works in terms of this. One thing that confused me earlier was that even though I turned the filter here down completely, I was still getting um, some distorted sounds that sounded like filtered sound. So what I've realized is that unl unlike what I thought earlier, which was that this was controlling all the filter stuff, I thought that playing with the cutoff and resonance here still depended on this filter section to some extent, but it doesn't. It's independent. That's become clear to me now. So let's let you hear that. I'm going to turn this up. I've got the dry down completely, so you're just going to hear wet here. Let's put this. Still won't hear anything, got one more to put up. So if we play with the cutoff and resonance here, we're still going to get filter sounds, even though this filter is not engaged because I have got the filter output turned completely down here in this routing section. So let's have a listen to how the resonance, for example, can change things here. When I change the cutoff, you'll hear that more clearly. Okay, so in the other video I looked at these other parts. Level and pan, I won't do that again here. But let's just let you hear feedback here. I don't think I demoed that clearly enough. very clearly now because I brought the damp down here. Again, watch the other video to find out what this does. This is pretty nice. Take a look at the routing section again. First, remember that changing the EQ here will have an effect. Right, so here we've cut both the high and low down quite low. bring in a little bit of stereo delay. So 
you won't hear it yet. Turning the level up here. Now it's coming down here. Right, so you hear that stereo delay coming in. Now I've brought down the sequence delay input here. So here we're just getting stereo delay. Let's bring in a little bit of the sequenced one. And now let's bring this down. And let's bring this up. And this up. And now let's play around with the filter section. So what we're getting here is this coming down here. So then we have the two together and bringing up that joint signals volume, putting it into the filter. Bring down the rate. Play around with the filter cutoff and so on. We could add some more of the stereo delay in here. Okay, and now let's bring in the unfiltered stuff as well. Let's just play around with this. Okay, so hopefully that's a bit clearer. It's definitely a lot clearer in my mind. Love this. Great effect. Powerful, interesting. Really great job. All right, I'm glad that I clarified that. It was um, annoying me that I hadn't explained it as well as I wanted to. I hadn't understood it as well as I wanted to. I think now it's pretty clear. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. See you in the next vid.